10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off, top 9. Vehicle's clear for now. Plus a minute 10 into flight. We've just gone through throttle down and throttle back up of the Falcon 9 first stage engines. We've gone through max Q on the first stage. First stage continues to look good on the engines, headed downrange away from Vandenberg Air Force Base. We're chilling in the MVAC engine two minutes into flight, getting it ready for ignition. Next major event coming up in 30 seconds is shutdown of the nine first stage engines, followed by stage separation and ignition of the second stage engine. Shortly after that, we hope to get a view of payload fairing separation from the second stage. We've had successful separation and ignition of the upper stage engine. First words from propulsion, things look good on the upper stage engine and the second stage. Boost Next up we should down. see fairing separation. Fairing separation confirmed. You hear the applause from the team gathered around Mission Control Center here in Hawthorne. It's 5.30 in the evening, second shift is in. They're watching the flight. Fairing separation looked very good, exposing the 10 Iridium Next satellites to the vacuum of outer space. We're three and a half minutes plus into flight. Second stage performance continues to look excellent. T plus four minutes into flight. Falcon 9 second stage continues to perform nominally. Power on the engine looks good. Avionics looks good. Guidance looks we're on track, headed south away from California, eventually overflying the South Polar Cap on our way off of Eastern Africa, where we'll eventually deploy later in the webcast, the 10 Iridium Next satellites.
T plus five minutes into flight, you can see the camera views looking back on the nozzle of the MVAC-D Merlin vacuum engine. Red hot, which is just what we expect at this stage of flight. The engine is at full power, continuing to perform normally, as I like to say. And meanwhile, the second stage is on trajectory, headed for its initial low Earth parking orbit. We'll talk a little bit more about that later on, but for now, everything continues to look good. T plus six minutes into flight. Falcon 9, second stage carrying 10 Iridium Next satellites is currently west and south of the tip of Baja, California. I hope that everybody in Southern California had a great view of the launch this evening. We've had clear skies, the rocket launching about half an hour after sunset. Now currently we're in burn one. This takes us into the low earth parking orbit. That's a temporary orbit that we'll be in for about half an orbit around the Earth before we relight the upper stage engine, and that will move us with its second burn into the final orbit. We'll be bringing you that second burn later on in the webcast. Stage one entry startup. Stage one entry burn. Entry shut down. Stage one, AFTS. Seven and a half minutes into flight, Falcon 9 second stage to, continues to perform well. We are continuing on the desired trajectory headed south from Vandenberg Air Force Base, California, heading into a, an approximate polar orbit with the Iridium Next satellites. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to have two burns. We're in the first burn right now. This is the long burn, just well, over six minutes. Expected. We're beginning to throttle down power on the upper stage engine, preparing, preparing for shutdown about a minute stage from now. Meanwhile, we'll then go into a coast period of 42 minutes between the end of the burn that we're on now and then the relight that'll come over the Eastern Hemisphere. So during that coast phase, we're going to pause live commentary. We'll have a map so that you can see our path.